Today's adventure, or should I say, today's late afternoon adventure brings us to Ripley Falls. Right off of 302, you'll always see cars parked down the bottom here because the Webster Cliff Trail, which is also the Appalachian Trail, is located across the street. The actual parking for Ripley Falls is up this street, which is Willie House Station Road. So at the top of this road, there is a small parking area. Get a few cars in here. The trail itself starts on the other side of that minibus. We are on the Ethan Pond Trail. You can tell because white blaze, AT. But before we go there, I'm hearing water off to the left. Let's go see what's out here first. And that water we were hearing, that's Avalanche Brook. And look at this stonework. It's supporting a railroad bridge that goes up above us. That's an impressive stonework. Look at it, it looks like stairs right here. Coming down underneath the bridge, there are artifacts. Spike right there. But check out how these boulders are put together. They're cemented and they have iron bars attaching them to each other. Pretty cool. There's my lovely wife. <laughs> and at the sign for Ethan Pond Trail, it says Ripley Falls was 0.5. I heard that it was 0.44, but hey, it's almost the same thing. And it's right across these active railroad tracks, so be careful crossing. So we saw Willie House Station to the left as we carefully crossed the active railroad tracks. And this must have been the station. There are artifacts, and you know how we love artifacts. And graffiti. Of course, there's always graffiti. Hey, everything's in here, including the kitchen sink. Think I'm kidding? It's right there. Oh, piping behind it. This was two rooms. I was saying it's Willie House Station, so I'm going to take it that this was the station. See, it's right next to the railroad tracks. The Willie House, I believe, is further up the road. And this is it. It's coming down the railroad tracks. Who says a train can't make a 90 degree turn? Somebody thinks so. <laughs> so the trail itself goes up. There's some flat spots where it's gonna go up again. It's like three or four times as steep ups from what I've read so far. At Ethan Pond Trail, no matter what we think of Ripley Falls, we'll be seeing this trail again. 2020, when we hopefully complete our through hike of the Appalachian Trail. I right, we've reached the sign for Crawford Notch State Park. Warning, no camping, no fires. All right, duly noted. So remember, we can't camp or have a fire out here. Sleeping bag anyways. And as I said, some flat and some steepness. Alright, the Ethan Pond Trail is going to go off to the right, even though I'm panning back to the left. Cool. All those nice stairs. We will be going on to Ripley Falls, which is this way. Alright, so the trail out to Ripley Falls is blazed in blue. Heads out this way. Another example of roots and rocks. That's what this trail should be called. Roots and Rocks Trail to Ripley Falls. All right, so I can hear water falling and the trail is sort of working its way down. So being someone who's never been here before, I'm gonna say that we're just about there. <laughs> Let's go find out. So we came down and found some water. And it's Ripley Falls. Another angle on the falls. We have this place completely to ourselves. There's nobody here. I don't think many people can say that, that they've been here with no one. Me and Cheryl, that's where the falls flows into. Continues down around this way. I thought I was just standing on a rock in the middle of the water. Then I glanced over to my left and I'm actually still on the trail. This trail will continue up to Arethusa Falls because it is the Arethusa Ripley Trail. We've already done the Arethusa Falls and Frankenstein Cliffs. 
feel free to watch that video on our channel. This is a well where the water is carved out. They say it is possible to climb up the sides and get a nicer view, but that stuff is all wet. These falls are over 100 feet tall, so I don't feel like slipping and falling to my sure death. So we're not going up. All right, so we're back down from Ripley Falls. That was a great late afternoon hike. Only half a mile long. Families should have no problem making this with the kids. Just watch the kiddos on the roots and the rocks and the steepness onto the side. But other than that, the payoff is well worth it for a half a mile hike. It's not that bad at all. So until our next adventure, the end.